Hi guys, welcome to my English channel. Today's tutorial is my kind of tutorial, an everyday makeup. This is actually my current go-to everyday makeup and you guys have been asking me a lot to do a tutorial. It's super simple, it makes you look really natural and I mean like the skin, everything is super natural. The eyes are really bare but the only thing that pops is the cat eye. The last fashion week, that's like what I use every single day, this type of makeup. I just changed a bit the color of the shadow, the neutral shadow, and the color of the lip. So I really hope you like the video, and before we go, I want to teach you a Portuguese word. So today I'm going to teach you how to say emphasize or highlight, because this neutral makeup, it emphasizes your beauty, right? Your natural beauty. Uh, so in Portuguese, you say realça. Repeat with me, realça. I really hope you like the video and let's get started. So the first thing I do before um, anything is applying this amazing product right here, which is the Fix Plus by MAC, which is a prep and prime product. So I'm gonna spray it all over and I kind of like get my face really wet with it. Instead of using foundation, I use the Misha Perfect Cover BB Cream. It gives me a really natural finish, but it covers so much. Like it covers everything that I want to cover. And I like to apply it with my hand, with my fingers. And then I take my um, Sigma F80 brush and I apply it here down my neck. With the brush is faster, that's why I like to apply here with the brush just so that we don't have any lines on the chin for the eyes I like to start with my brows and what I like to use on my brows is this brow kit which is by whitening lightning which is now Gerard cosmetics the brow bar to go and I use a angled brush like this, a little one, and this is by Sigma, and I take this, I blend, I kind of blend these two colors together, and I start from the bottom of my brows. If you guys want to know the tricks on how to do your brow perfectly, I have done a video, and I can link it somewhere here for you guys, so you, if you want to watch. I kind of like draw like strokes with it, like so it's nice and natural. We don't want like a dark line, you know? And now I'm going to apply eye primer. I'm going to use my Urban Decay Primer Potion all over my eyelid. And now what I like to do is apply a really light brown shadow and today I'm going to take this brown here from the Gwen Stefani palette by Urban Decay. I'm gonna mix these two. I'm going to blend this all over my lid, going up to the crease. And then my next step is applying a shimmery shadow. Uh, not too shimmery, okay guys? And here, as you can see, I applied a, a rosy shimmery shadow, which is Fireball by Urban Decay, which is this one. The thing here with me is like applying a lighter shadow on top of um, a pop-up shadow, I would say, on top of the brown. So I'm going to apply it with my finger, more here on the inner corner, and then blend the rest towards the outer corner. And then next I'm going to apply a nude beige eyeliner on my waterline. And this is going to open my eye more and it makes me look more awake. So next step is gel liner. So as you can see here, this eye is so basic. Like we're not gonna apply anything here on the bottom, nothing. Just concealer afterwards. And all we did was apply two shadows, brown and a little bit of color and then the eyeliner. And you're gonna be good to go. So I'm using my gel liner uh, from Tarte and the E10 eyeliner brush by Sigma. And I'm gonna start really close to my lash root. If you're not comfortable with uh, doing a cat eye, you can just do a regular straight 
line, okay? And your eyes still going to pop. And now I'm gonna start creating my line. I like to take a uh, makeup wipe and correct the end just to make it perfect. And My next step for the eyes is actually the last step is mascara and this is the Clinique High Impact. And I'm just applying on my top lashes, nothing on the bottom lashes, so it doesn't give any shadow. And so all the attention is on your upper lid, okay? So now we're done with the eyes, that was it, and we're gonna finish the skin. So after BB cream, I like to apply my concealer, and this is my favorite concealer because it conceals and it highlights at the same time. This is Radiant Creamy Concealer by NARS, and my color is Custard. Also, I like to apply the rest of it on the brush around my mouth. To blend that, I'm gonna use my Beauty Blender. I'm gonna wet it with my Fix Plus by MAC. And we're just gonna blend this. So the BB cream and the coverage from the concealer is all you need to get a perfect skin for your everyday, okay? Usually I get a bit oily on my T-zone, so I like to apply a little bit of powder and this guys is my favorite powder like of the whole year. That's the only powder I use throughout the whole year of 2015. It's the Lorac Portfection. Just a little bit on the brush and I'm gonna apply it on my whole face. Dabbing it around like that. And this is the... F25 Tapered Brush by Sigma. And now we're gonna do my favorite part, contour. Yes, I do contour on my everyday, but of course, I contour less. What I'm loving to use at the moment is the Dolce & Gabbana Honey Matte Bronzer, which is a really light brown. And I'm going to contour my nose first. And I like to contour my nose with a blending brush like this, a blending, a eye blending brush. So I contoured the sides of my nose. And then what I like to do is I take a little bit of concealer on a synthetic brush and I apply the concealer right on the center and then on the sides to kind of like erase a bit of the brown powder. And then I come with the brush again and just blend a bit more. So for the rest of the face, same bronzer, okay? On my chin. I always like to apply bronzer on my chin because it also contours. And then on my cheeks. And then I like to take my favorite blush, which is a Spotlight Duster F37. And with the same product, okay, just concentrating on my, the apples of my cheeks. So all we have as a blush is a bronzer, okay? And I like to take my liquid highlighter. This is the one I created with Sigma, which is the liquid highlighter called Afterglow. And I apply a bit here on the top of my cheeks, on top of this bone here, and a bit on the nose. And it gives it a really natural glow. It kinda looks like it just comes from you, you know, this beautiful glow is just from your skin. There's no product. All right, so that's it for the makeup, and look how beautiful it is. It's super natural, and it makes the eyes stand out, but not so much in a way that, you know, it looks like you did a lot. Um, and now it's just the lips. I love having my lips like this, especially when I want an even more natural feel to it. But a nice trick to kind of like leave your lips a bit red throughout the whole day and glossy at the same time so it looks hydrated is uh, applying a lip liner and then the lip balm. I'm gonna apply my favorite lip liner ever, which is the one I created with Sigma. This is the 
uh, in fine feather it's a beautiful lip liner and just makes your lip look so gorgeous and then on top of it I'm going to apply my lip balm which is the rosebud again so that it leaves it a bit hydrated and that's it guys this is the full look um, I have to say this is like my favorite makeup ever uh, this is the type of makeup that I use all the time and lately I've been liking to wear this kind of makeup then like a full smoky eye so I really hope that you like this look I hope that you recreate it and I hope that um, this tutorial was helpful for you um, and like I said in the beginning don't be scared to do your cat eye for your everyday because if you have a really clean eye like I did right now without any shadows on the bottom it's definitely gonna look natural and ju it's just gonna stand out your eyes so do not be scared to do your cat eye and rock your cat eye on your everyday makeup so don't forget to rate if you liked it comment i want suggestions for upcoming videos and subscribe if you haven't to see all the new videos that i upload every monday so i'll see you guys next time have a wonderful week and a lovely weekend and a lovely month <laughs> i'll see you next time stay beautiful bye